Okay, in this blog post, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, crimping your hooks, the barbs on your hooks. I, I got an uh, email the other day from a gentleman asking me, do I crimp the barbs on my hooks? Because um, he does, he goes and fishes a lot of remote locations and obviously he does that for a, a safety factor because if you, if you get one in you, you want to get it back um, pretty quickly and you don't want to have to uh, get it uh, shipped out and in a helicopter or anything like that and get taken to hospital. But um, yeah, there's a few pros and cons of uh, crimping your barbs and uh, we'll run through them now. Now, the first pro of crimping your barbs is pretty much safety factor. If it goes in you, it's going to come out pretty easy, no matter where it is. Um, also, uh, they, they come out of trees very well, whether it's a soft vibe or a soft plastic you're jigging on the bottom, they're a lot easier to get off with the shock technique, and uh, we've showed you the shock technique before in uh, one of our other blog posts. Um, so yeah, lure retrieval is very easy, and the safety factor. But, you must stay tight. You really must stay tight to a fish, especially barramundi. When they come out of the water shaking their head, if they haven't got a barb helping hold that hook in place, and that lure gets one little bit of freedom, it's going to throw the hook on you. So you must stay tight. Very important. Now, the question was, do I crimp my uh, barbs? My answer is no, I don't. It's simply because I want results for my clients. And some of my clients maybe not the most ex be, be the most experienced fishermen in the world, so that they can't. Some of them can't stay tight all the time when a fish jumps. So I'm not in a remote place. I make sure my my clients have sunglasses on, have all the protection they need from uh, flying hooks, and um, I get a fantastic hook up rate. Whereas the guys that do crimp their hooks, I hear it all the time. Oh, I had 10 bites today and jumped seven off. So it's pretty much. Um, much of a muchness, it's a personal preference thing really, but uh, personally myself, I don't crimp the barbs. I always make sure everyone's got all the safety gear and we get a much better hookup rate and strike rate and more fish to the boat. Now, if you do want to crimp your barbs, it's quite simple. Any pair of pliers will do. Simply put the bottom end of the pliers right under where the barb is itself and push down on top, nice and tight until you hear it click. Barb's gone. Nice and easy, that'll come out now if it goes in you. So you haven't got too many dramas to worry about, especially if you're in a remote location. Now with the safety factor, it's always good to have good wrap around sunnies. Um, I use spotters, They're good protective sunnies right down the side. They've got many brands that uh, have good protection right down the side, so nothing can get behind them. And the plus they're great sunnies for uh, spotting fish and bait and all that sort of stuff too. So yeah, good wrap around sunnies, very important.